So here I am in the back seat of the Camaro. 10 o'clock on a Wednesday night. Why? I am just bored out of my mind and been lazy as can be. And I've been meaning to get around to work on this car, but I just haven't. Uh, willpower has been a little low lately. And I just thought, what the heck, this should be pretty easy. So, why am I back here? These speakers, that's why. So, I, like I said in my last video, right after I uh, made it, I ordered these speakers. I'm going to try to put them in. With that handy dandy little tripod I got, maybe we can actually watch this happen. I don't know if I grabbed the right tool or not, but let's see. So you take this screw out on this hook and once it comes out, Pretty long screw. You're supposed to be able to take these out just by doing that. These have got these hooks on the back that hold it into place. This is the OEM piece, which has seen better days. It's in really good shape though. I might try to see if I can recover that along with my headliner. And then, yep, I don't have the tools in here in the car with me, but as you'll see, so this is, I know the light's horrible, but this is the OEM speaker, it takes these little hex head bolts on all four corners, and I got some rust back there. So, obviously, there have been some water issues in this car. I've known about that for quite some time, but I think I've gotten them sealed up. It's where the uh, roof and the T-tops leaked. You know, I haven't sat in the back of this car since I was a kid. And, wow, the amount of space back here definitely has changed. No, oh, it's so dark you can't see it, but there actually is some sound deadening material in here. Um, and then this speaker cable is really tight. So that's probably why I've seen a lot of videos where people have added on links of cable. There we go. So there's the uh, OE speaker. And you know it Behind this mesh screen, it actually looks like it's in pretty good shape still. 
but it's not functional. I don't know if maybe the signal from the head unit died or if it's actually the speaker itself. But. So here's these new Pioneer 3-way 6x9s. They come with grills, but obviously I'm not going to be putting those in. Look pretty nice. So if you don't know, when you have factory wiring, these little pigtails are extremely helpful. This end connects to the speaker itself. And this end just plugs into your factory wiring. It's great. Alrighty. As you see, they're now plugged in. So now, take this in. Plug it into the car. We will see what happens. Alrighty. Well, now to turn the car on and check out the stereo and see if it works. Give your family the warmest gift of all. And hey, it works. From Eco Friendly Mechanical. If so, one down, three to go. I think I'm just going to do the rears tonight. Try to handle the fronts over the weekend. I'm just going to show you this one. No reason in showing you the other one. It's going to be exactly the same. Happy holidays from everyone. Well, that was a mess and a half. Uh, what well, started out as a simple speaker install turned out to be a radio replacement as well. Um, when I left you, I had just put in this speaker and I was about to put in the one opposite of me, but it didn't work. And so I went to remove it and it fell apart. The mid and high actually fell out of the speaker itself. Thankfully everything stayed attached. Uh, I called Crutchfield up and said, hey, uh, can I get a uh, replacement here? This speaker fell apart. And they said, we'd love to do that, but these speakers are on back order and it's gonna be two months until you get any more. So I thought on that. I found some super glue. The speaker's working just great. Um, but then I had to diagnose the issue more. And so I got my multimeter out and I tested everything going to that speaker. And there was power going to it. Uh, it was reading ohms it was reading like home. i believe it was four to ohms Australia, not only that, and so i was just perplexed i was like wait a minute made that happen on the airline but so then as i thought about it harder it was both of the Christmas right side or passenger side speakers and, and, Crow shared the same selfie and on expressing gratitude to that said a lot line. this is a factory car pure no this wiring's been played with before i know wiring goes bad but a lot of these factory style connectors don't. So, on a whim, didn't really want to, but on a whim, I bought a replacement head unit just like what I had, but this is one somebody's went through, replaced components that have went bad, uh, cleaned up the cassette deck, and he added an aux port. So, it's still the same uh, model stereo this car had, uh, but it just has an aux port. So, that's really cool to me. Uh, an old stereo like this having a piece of newer technology uh, is great. So, I'm going to uh, button this up for the night. I'm just exhausted. Uh, it's Christmas Eve Eve right now. 
and I've had a rough couple days. So I'm gonna put this down for Christmas, come back and button this up.